grateful how our guys played as far as their effort, their toughness, their tenacity, their, you know, their relentlessness to, to uh, play hard. But the rivalry game meant a lot to them. They understood they, that team got to accomplish something that had never been done in Florida State history, winning five in a row, which is you know, a great accomplishment, especially fighting through the season and things that went on this year. Very proud of them for that. Uh, winning down there on the road in a very tough situation, also keeping the 40-35 alive. And I think from a mental standpoint, I think the meetings and things you have to change up and mix up just a little bit to create some different scenarios for them so they're, they're not, you don't get drained. I know that sounds crazy, but you can be. When it gets monotonous, man, it's over and over and over and over. And especially when you play so many young players. That's what I think these young freshmen are now learning, that it's great to play, I got to play well, but wait a minute, I played that big schedule. Man, that guy hit hard, that guy hit hard, that team hit hard. And all of a sudden, after four, five, six weeks in a row of that, my body, man, no, I got to, yeah, you got to practice. You got to practice well. And I mean, the mental and psychological fatigue that goes with being a young player that our guys are having to endure now and, and are doing a great job with it, but it's all part of that whole process. As seasons go on and uh, injuries happen, different things happen, different teams you play, scenarios. So there's some things that are different. So sometimes you can't say, you know, pull it out and let's just do what we did before. It's not the same thing because they've done some different things. So it can be tough. Uh, you know, as you walk back, you start, you know, those, things trigger back and hit, oh, yeah, I remember they did this, I remember they did that. So an advantage, it's an advantage in that you, you have a chance to uh, remember some of the things they did and you have a kind of a blueprint from before and you're kind of just rechecking what would be good, what would be good, and there's some changes that definitely have to be made because they've changed. That's Very wide open, uh, quarterback, a lot of RPOs, a lot of run pass options, receivers. I have a big receiver. Green can really make plays. The other guys are very big, physical, play over top of you, run the ball very well. A lot of RPOs, quarterback runs, quarterback's the uh, second leading rusher on the team. So, I mean, very dynamic that way, opportunistic. And, I mean, they let it hang out. And what I mean is they get no scoring battles. I mean, they'll, they'll trick plays, whatever they do, they'll, they'll go at you and, and very multidimensional.